Where is Tim Holden? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first, and I'm not sure it's going to be the last prop, but it certainly is a prop. Let me explain this prop, Mr. Moderator. This is Tim Holden. Um, Tim was a little late, and so we heard he was running late, so we thought we'd stop and pick him up, and so we did. <laughs> In point of fact, this is a photo of Tim Holden, and this was Tim at the Gerardville Day Parade. Let me tell you why that's important. First of all, I was at the Pottsville uh, Parade or, and at the uh, Firehouse this year, and I, I should also mention that I love parades. This one was significant, however, because this was the Saturday before the vote was taken the Sunday, on that Sunday when they voted for health care reform. And on that Saturday, Virtually every Republican and Democrat, Blue Dogs included, was in Washington on Capitol Hill. Mr. Holden was not there. He could not be here tonight because of an important vote. This is where he was the Saturday before the Sunday of the vote. That's why I brought this. The parade is fine. I like, I like parades. The fact of the matter is, and I like Irish heritage, the fact of the matter is he should have been in Washington that day. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Put it in his chair. Put it in his chair. Yeah. Uh, I leave that to the moderator. Oh. I'm trying to remain neutral. Um, we have lots of very short questions tonight. So here's the next one. What are your envir environmental priorities? My envi environmental priorities? That's a very important question. Obviously, you have to start with clean and green energy. That's so essential. <laughs> and you know, I was at the AFL-CIO convention this past, the week actually was last week. The weeks go very quickly when you're running for office, but that's okay. And, and I heard Leo Gerard, actually, the uh, president of USW, and one of the, one of the um, things he said, Leo said was, you know, it can't be an either or proposition around environmental concerns. And I hope he really means that. I think we have to believe he does. He said it. In other words, it can't be that we sacrifice clean and green because we want technological advances. We need both, all right? One without the other is not success. Meaning, what do I mean by that? I mean that we need to look at alternatives to the current environmental um, um, and, um, and technological um, initiatives that are in place. We need to think about, for example, coal. We need to think about coal and our reliance upon coal. There are about 100 jobs, not that many, maybe more than that, in PA 17 that are still actually centered around coal. We talked about that a few weeks ago with some other folks here, but it's a legacy industry. So we have an emotional and pragmatic commitment to coal. The fact of the matter is, though, that we have to find a way, and I will do this, to move people away from that technology to other technologies, such as wind, solar. We have to look at the ma manufacturing also as an element of that. I'm afraid I'm, I'm out of time. Thank you. I have to keep watching Karen. I apologize. I'm learning to dust. Karen? That's such a hard thing to do. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Uh, this question came in uh, online. Uh, Karen handed it to me earlier. Uh, President Obama's top three priorities when he was elected were health care reform, energy revitalization, education reform. We know, based on Representative Holden's vote on the health care reform bill, that he was not in agreement with the President on the first priority. And Ms. Dow Ford has said she was, she was in support of the bill. I would like to know where each of you stand on the other two priorities, what they mean to you, and what direction you would like to see them take. 